Welcome to the Control M Workload Automation video series. In this video, we will show you how to use participation definition in host groups. Specifically, we will show you how you can use conditions to control the participation of a node in host groups. Let's go to CCM and show you how we've defined our host group. Here's our Control M Configuration Manager. To go to our host groups, we will have to click on the Manage tab and click on Host Manager. This should bring up our available hosts. We will be using our host group test group today. And if we open that, you will see that we have defined two associated hosts with the host group test group, EM900 test and RH64 um, agent. Let's open the RH64 agent because that's where we've defined our condition name for participation definition. So double click on the participation definition for the RH64 one. And you will see that you have the option of using date time settings or condition settings. For this particular um, video, we are going to be using condition settings to control our host group participation. As you can see, we have defined condition name, Unix underscore agent underscore available with a condition date of stat. Now, what that means is that this agent will only be participating in our group, test group, if the condition Unix underscore agent underscore available with a condition date of stat is present. That's how you define the participation definition. Let's go ahead and show you how that works. Let's go to our workload automation. First, I want to show you that the condition Unix underscore agent underscore available with no date is present in Control M Server EM900 test. That means our Unix agent will be participating in our host group test group. Let's see how that works by submitting a couple of jobs to the host group. Let's go to the workspace. We will be using our folder test host groups, which has two jobs. And because we have two agents in the group, we expect test job one to submit on one agent and test job two to the other agent participating in the group. Let's go ahead and order these two jobs. We're ordering the folder. Let's go ahead and order it. It's been ordered. Now let's look in monitoring and see how they did. Expand this, expand this, expand this. See that we have two jobs submitted. And I intentionally made test job two fail if it gets submitted on the Unix agent. So if we look at the log, this job is submitted to EM900 test which is our Windows agent. And test job two log is submitted to our Unix agent. Now let's see what happens if we delete the condition. Let's go to planning, go to conditions, and let us go ahead and delete the condition that makes our Unix agent participate in the group. Refresh it, make sure it's gone. Now that the condition is gone, let's go ahead and submit our jobs again. So let's go onto our workspace, order the group again, order, and yes, order. And it's been ordered. Let's go back to monitoring, see how our jobs are ordered. So our new jobs were ordered at 16.16. As you can see, both test job one, uh, and test job two ended successfully. That's because they were both run on the same host. Test job one was run on EM900 test. Test job two was run on EM900 test because now our other Unix agent is unavailable to the host group. Just a quick word of warning. Do not try to use the same logic for node participation on jobs where the checkbox run jobs on all hosts in group is checked because it will not honor the node participation. It will go ahead and submit the job on all the nodes 
in the job in the host group regardless of node participation. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Thank you for watching. Please check our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.